okay so what we're doing in today's tutorial is we're making a dress and making it fit other other bodies so we'll be making that dress right away in marvelous designer so these are the other dev kits that we'll be using today we have the aquarium princesses clear dev kit we have cloth 3d slew dev kit and we also have the sub 3d inner dev kit so we're uh, constructing the dress object by drawing up a pattern in marvelous designer so whatever pattern you wish you can draw at this point so i remessed it and added made the particle distance brought it down to 10 uh, unfold symmetric sewing to get it to the other side copy Control r to mirror paste drag it to the back and flip the normals bring them closer and we can press n to sew for segment sewing okay now that we've sewn our dress we can add sleeves let's add sleeves so that we can <coughs> we can show the full scope of the <coughs> reshaping process so these are adjustment points these blue circles are adjustment points adjustment points aid the sewing process so you just click and click on a blue circle the green cylinders are bounding volumes they are guides for the adjustment points so remember you just click your pattern and click on an adjustment point it's also worth noting that your dev kit may not necessarily come with adjustment points the clear dev kit came with adjustment points pre-installed so does the sub 3d nina dev kit okay so what we're doing now is we are mirror pasting our sleeves to the other side and then we are sewing our sleeves onto the dress object but a quick edit was made to the sleeve just to make it looser for the aesthetic of the dress I wanted a loose dress with this object so I uniformly split <coughs> the top of the sleeve patterns so I could sew them using the segment sewing individually to the front and then to the back so you will see how I did that so first half to the front latter half to the back <coughs> same thing with the other sleeve okay and then we sew and our dress is ready okay select everything export our object so i <laughs> replaced a previous object i had and i've exported so you import your object into the respective dev kit so we're using the aquarium princess clear dev kit in this phase now we cleared our shops if you did not use the weld option in marvelous designer make sure that you select everything press m and by distance so that you do not have separate objects so we are smoothing our points that look sharp this process may not necessarily apply to you okay now what we are doing is we are transferring our, our we are transferring our weights from the aquarium princess body to the dress we are testing the results of the weights checking a weight paint mode looking out for jagged edges you can see jagged edges all around the pelvic region so you select using your vertex select you can select everything all groups smooth i use an iteration count of two you remember not to overdo it so that you have to prevent clipping and we are done with the weight transfer process so now let's fix our uvs let's make our uvs cover as much ground be sure to select 
constrain UV, <laughs> constrain to image bounds so that it doesn't bleed out of the bounding box for the UV map area. Cover as much ground with your UVs as possible without touching the edges of the bounding box too much to prevent um, stitch lines. Now we are adding our materials. Remember to index your materials. So for example, I have material underscore one, open brackets 24, close brackets. Remember to use square brackets and not regular brackets. Also remember to use <coughs> material numbers higher than 10 in order not to conflict with the default IMV materials for body parts. What we're doing here is we're adjusting the viewport display colors of our material so we can see things clearer and we're exporting just the dress, just the dress as an FBX so no rigging aspects are exported yet, just the dress alone and we're now importing that dress onto our next dev kit which is the cloth 3 Lou dev kit. We're importing it into this scene. Since it is 100 times the size of the body in this dev kit, you apply all the transforms and scale down by 0.01. So let us adjust the viewport display colors of the materials again so that we can easily detect clipping. Now we will enter our, <coughs> our reshaping process. So the key tool is your proportional editing tool in edit mode in Blender. So I'm showing you what connected only looks like. Connected only when you're using proportional editing and you have control connected only checked. The proportional editing only affects <coughs> vertices that are linked to the source vertex that is selected. Now that I've shown you that, let's let's um, expand. So this is the process in essence. You select a collective of vertices and you expand as necessary so you expand as necessary using your scale tools your grab tool so g for grab s for scale and generally i would recommend you scale along particular axes axes and not arbitrarily okay so i'm making it fit better Oh, I'm making it fits better and while it may look that we are done with our shaping you can see that the contour of the dress does not match the contour of the body itself because the Aquarian Princess mesh has a contoured abdomen area so we can fix this by using our smooth brush in sculpt mode control tab to sculpt mode and smooth it out so that you can match the underlying contour. Uh, you, you can use our draw brush to add relief and then we can equally smooth it out with our smooth brush again for a smoother appearance of the dress mesh. And we're done. Okay. So we are adding the armature we have transferred our width from the body using the nearest face interpolated setting you can see we also have jagged edges so select and smooth um, I also use an iteration count of 2 here so test the width test the width the, this dev kit doesn't come preloaded with poses so you have to check the width manually or make your own poses now that we've checked the width, let's move on. So export just the dress again, just the dress as either OBJ or FBX, whatever you desire, but export just the dress. We are now going to re import this dress into the Sub 3D Nina Dev Kit. So let us adjust the viewport display colors of our material so we can easily detect clipping you can see clearly already that the bust area and the tie area and even the sleeve area are clipping glaringly
so using our proportional editing we can make this dress fit this body as appropriate using our scale and grab tools select vertices as this and the air in the desired areas and scale and grab so i scaled on the x the waist area to match the slimmer waist of the sub 3d inner body and again on the y area So I'm scaling it to match the body's thicker thighs. Okay, bring it out. Bring it out. Generally, I recommend that you start with the with the body with the least profound protrusions, and work your way up to the body with the most profound um, protrusions. So we're smoothing out areas that look rough so in this work pr process where well, we use the clear first then the lou and then the nina body so this is what the process is like transfer our weights to the body using aerospace interpolated by all layers and then we all equally smooth smooth out all groups So you can drag the timeline and check for clipping, check the results of the weight transfer. Okay, so smoothing out the bust area to match the underlying contour better. Oh. Now we're in the shading tab, we are adding destination images to our materials for baking since this dev kit has um, baking enabled has a light setup for baking so we're just adding destination images to our to our materials and then we've now hit bake So we can now check for our textures and export them. So export all your baked textures. And we're done. So we parent the dress to the skeleton. And then we export. Make sure with the sub with the cloth. 3d loo dev kit we rename the clothing dot export to clothing underscore export then make sure that it's the also the only object in the clothing underscore export collection so that the studio to kits exports option will work well we equally exported the aquarium princess body the way that you would classically And now we have imported the dress for the aquarium princess body. We'll add the MCG layer from <coughs> from the sub 3D Nina Dev Kit Pack. Any MCG layer that covers the red part should do. Okay, and you're done. Let's repeat the process for the cloth 3D loop body. We first black out the skin tight layer of the cloth 3D loop body using a black opacity map for the skin tight layers. Now we're importing our exported FBX. Okay, and that is our address. You equally set the textures to double sided, the materials to double sided. And lastly, for the sub 3D inner body as well, same process you import your FBX, your FBX dress. 
okay then you can also add your mcg layer that comes with the sub 3d nina dev kit 